Yo, what's up guys? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Spicer here, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can use tween service in Roblox. So let's get into it. So first things first, we got to cover what is tween or tweening service in Roblox. So if you clicked on this video, you probably want to learn about tween service. But if you somehow don't know what tween service is, basically, it's a service on Roblox that just like is responsible for like like animating like an object or something so like if let's just say that let's just say i spawn a part here and if we were just doing to change the position of the part through a script when we play the game it will it will just be over here and maybe if we were to add a weight it will just teleport over here but what twinning does is it makes it like if we wanted to move over there it will make it smooth like an animation so that's basically what tweening is and it's just animating parts basically so i'm going to show you how to do that and what it means and okay so first we're going to insert a part here i'm going to insert a part and inside the part i'm going to insert a script and now in this script i'm going to write local tween service equals and then we're going to say game colon get service tween service so you're basically just getting the um basically making the tween service a variable and now we're going to get um our part so part is equal to script.parent so now we have our part here so now here we're gonna we're gonna actually do the um tween since we got our variables all right so first things first i'm gonna write local tween info equals and then we're gonna put in parentheses and we're gonna drop down um, oops did not mean to put that in we're gonna drop down a line like this you might be wondering why we would drop down the line instead of just keeping it like um how it would normally be but i'll show you what, um why this makes sense in a minute so this is basically all the tween info so this is going to be our um parameter in this parameter it's going to be what we're going to put inside of our tween all right so basically uh, it's going to be the info of the tween so basically first you're going to write a number so the number that we're going to write is two now basically this number is just like is it's the um i'm just going to put a thing a comment here and say um tween um time so basically this is this number is um how long we want the tween to last in seconds so we can put 10 that will last 10 seconds um one will last one second so i'm going to keep it at two so we want the tween to last two seconds so then you want to put a comma here every time you are going to make a new um line like that you want to make sure you put a comma or else it will give you an error so i'm just going to delete that comment and now down here we're going to write now a word here we're going to say enum dot um using style and then when we press um the stop button here it's going to give us a list of easing styles um i'll put a, a link i'll put a video up on the screen of what an easing style looks like basically all that an easing style is is like how the tween will play out like the animation of the tween so i'm gonna i'm gonna use um bounce and i'll show you what this means in a bit so now that we put that there we're going to put another comma here and drop down the line. Hold up. Why is it giving me an error? Setting two there. We'll use two one variable. Uh okay. Um let's see, hold up. What did I do wrong? Add two and then enum dot easing style dot bounce. Okay, I don't know why it's giving me an error here, but um I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna put a comma here and then go down another line. And now we're going to put in enum dot then using direction and then when we do that you'll see in out and in out in just means the tween will go in out just means the tween will play out and in out just means we'll do both so for this i'm just going to make it play outwards <clears throat> and now i'm going to put another comma and then we're going to this so basically we're just saying how long the tween is then what the style of the tween will look like and then the direction of the tween all right so now we're going to put in another number this is going i'm just going to say zero this um number here is basically how many times we wanted to repeat the tween so we're not going to repeat any times but if i was to change it to one we'll actually play the tween two times or we'll play the tween two times 
and it will just repeat it one time. So it's going to play the tween, it's going to see that we want to repeat it one time. So it's going to play it again, so it's going to play twice. So if this was 5, it will play 6 times. So we're going to keep this at 0, so it's not going to play, it's not going to repeat it. And now for this one, we're going to put um, um, a boolean value, so this we're going to put false. Um, this is just how many times we want, um, it, this is just if you want the tween to um, reverse, basically go back and then um, it, if we wanted to go back and then come back out so we're not going to make a reverse and then for the last thing the last parameter we're going to put zero again this is a number that is going to be how many times you want it to er, and how long you want it to delay so I'm just going to I think hold up uh hold up let me let me fix this arrow real quick Okay, um, okay, no, I know what the error is, um, or this is not tween info, this is going to be info, and then equals, uh, tween info dot new, and then we're going to keep those, um, parameters, and, um, oops, at the end, the last number, you don't want to put a comma there, so you want to put one for everyone except the last one. So, I'm going to write comments now, so this is going to be delay, and then this one's going to be, these comments don't do anything, I'm just putting them there so you guys know what these do, this is going to be um, reverse, this one's going to be repeat, this one's going to be direction, and then this one's going to be style, and this first one is going to be <clears throat> time. Yeah, time. Alright, so I'm just putting these so you guys know what this does. So now we have our tween info. This is the info of our tween. Now we're going to drop down two more lines. And now we're going to put local goals. You can name this to whatever you want. I'm just going to name this to goals. Um, you can also do that, I think, for this one up here. So I just named the info. This one's goals equals. And then we're going to put a table here. So make sure you put these kind of curved brackets instead of those parentheses. And then we're going to drop down a line here again to make it look better and easier to read. And now in here, we're going to put in the goals of our tween. So what we're going to do with the tween. Now that we know what, what the tween is going to be, <clears throat> what we're going to do with the tween, what the tween is going to look like and stuff. Now we want to know what the tween is going to actually do. So I'm just going to make it where it changes the position of it. So... I hope I spelled that wrong. Position. Can't spell position. And then equals um, vector three dot new. Vector three is basically just the um, way we change positions of stuff. So now, let's just say I wanted it to be up here. Let's just say I wanted it to move up there. So I'm going to move it up there. Now you get the position of a part. Is you go to properties and then you go to position here. Make sure you open um, one of these if they're not open. Um, I'm going to um, copy that. I'm going to go back to the script. And in here, I'm going to paste what I, the new position. I'm going to go back to my actual game. And I'm going to undo what I just did. So that's going to come back where it was originally. So now it knows the new position. So this is the new position we want it to move to. Okay, so now that we have the position, you can also put other properties in here. I'm just going to keep it as this. And now I'm going to, now that we have the goal of what we're going to do, we're going to change the position. Now, we're going to write the actual tween. So local, local tween equals, this is basically going to play the tween, so it's going to create one. Local tween equals tween info dot, actually no, I didn't mean to do that, hold up. I'm going to want to put equals tween service, and then, um, dot actually colon create and then in here we're going to put in our parameters so part and then info and then um, goals so we're basically just saying now we're going to create a new tween this is going to actually create the tween and then we want to make sure we're assign it we're basically saying which um, object we're going to want to tween so we're going to tween the part so we want to tween this part and then we want to um, get the info, we're gonna, in, we're just telling the script the info of the tween, and then we're telling the, um, goal of the tween, so we're basically just saying what we're gonna tween, how we're gonna tween it, and what the point of the tween is, so what is it gonna do. 
So that's what those parameters are for. And now if we drop down a line and just say tween and then dot actually tween colon play colon play. And now it should play the tween. So I'm going to add in a wait five seconds in the middle. So it, when we run the game, it should um, wait five seconds before it plays the tween. So I'm going to run the game. And you're going to see here when I run the game, um, wait, it will wait five seconds and then it will move up and it will bounce like that. Uh, did it? I think it's because I didn't anchor it. Hold up. I'm going to anchor the part so it um, is better because it fell off the sky. So we're going to wait five seconds and it's going to go up, bounce, and now it's up there. So we can, that's basically what tweening is. We can do that for many different things. Like we can change the, um, these bounce to another style, we can change the direction it goes in. We can change, I'm just going to change this actually to a new size. So let's just say size. Um, it still uses vector 3, and instead, this time we're going to make the size, let's just say we wanted to go to this size, like th um, this, and um, I'm going to get the size here now, I'm going to copy the new size, I'm going re to paste it in here, I'm going to undo everything I did by pressing this button, okay, so now it's going to change to that size, so, now what should happen is just to change its size instead and I'm gonna just gonna change the style let's just say we want it to be like linear so it goes straight it goes smoothly so it's gonna wait five seconds going to um, play this so I'm gonna change the size just like that so now I can change I'm just gonna change the repeat time so it's gonna repeat itself twice and um, actually this time I'm going to make the reverse to true. So now it's going to reverse itself. So it's going to go big and then it's going to go back to small. Then it's going to go big again and go back to small. And so it's going to repeat itself. So you'll see that it will go big and then it'll go small again. Reverse itself and then go big again. And then it'll stay big or actually go back down again. And then it'll st um, stay like that. So now if we, were to, if we were to set this to false, it won't reverse itself, so it will like teleport back to its original position, so it's going to repeat itself, as you'll see here, but it's going to just teleport back to its original position, like that, and it's going to do it again, and then it's going to stay like that, so that's basically what reversing would have done, and delay is just how long it's going to delay the time, and I can do this for any property, um, also make sure that you don't actually have to put like part dot to size like you would have to do in other things you just have to say size because it already knows that we're talking about this part so um basically you have to put this exactly how it would be like so the properties it would have to be exactly how it's spelled or else it won't work so i can do that for anything transparency however i want to and like a cool thing that would do let's, um, let's just say i wanted this to be like this so i'm gonna i'm gonna make a quick thing real quick actually no, i'm just gonna get like a, a door frame in the toolbox and let's just say i have a, to a door frame here and maybe i wanted this to happen so maybe we have um maybe this is like a garage door let's just say this is a garage door um, put this down here, like this, and now if, let's just make this smaller, I'm going to pretend like this is a garage door, so now, basically, I'm going to, I'm just going to change the color now, so now this is a garage door, so now I'm going to basically just say, I'm going to change the position, so now it's going to, I'm going to change the position down to actually to here, so I'm going to get the new position, and um, let's just get the new position. And I'm going to uh, put the new position here. And this time we'll, I'm going to just say the position. Position. Get the new position here. Vector 3. Um, make sure it's, you keep this as vector 3 when you're using position and size, or else it won't work. Because vector 3 is basically what we use for um, the. for um, using like positions and stuff like changing that so I'm going to like do this I'm gonna put it like that 
I like that. So like, just pretend this is like a wall up here. I'm gonna change this to like a white color. Pretend that's a wall, a wall here. So now, if I was to run this, you will see that, um, oops, that's not anchored. I didn't anchor this. So now if I was to run this, it's gonna wait five seconds and our garage door is going to drop down like that. And it's going to repeat itself again because I kept the repeat time on. I'm going to change this to zero. And now it shouldn't repeat itself. It should only play it once. And um <clears throat> let's see here. There we go. So it closes itself. And it won't reopen itself. Um, so yeah, that's basically what tweening is. So I will go into more depth um, videos of how to tween stuff in more videos later, and how to make it like enable with like events and stuff. Maybe you press something and it happens. So you yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. So hopefully this explains to you how to tween stuff. And goodbye.